Welcome back to Rebuilding Astroworld. This is Swag, and today we're going to extend the entry plaza. We're going to build the ticket booths. We're going to build the front gates. We're going to do a little support buildings on both sides. We're going to do some shaping to make this look as accurate to the real life park as possible, but also take a little less detail because this is the first few phases of the park build. So overall, that's the plan for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to keep on working our way into the park and the quicker we make it into the park, the sooner we can get to some rides if that's what you're looking for. Make sure to leave a comment in there if there's a certain ride you'd want us to do first. Um, I'll uh, see you guys after the first time lapse. Started with shaping the area in the park. There's these giant semicircles on both sides of this plaza. It's actually covered up, and we might do covers. We might just do planters um, with maybe a trellis here or there. We're gonna think it through first. The big thing you wanna do is build your buildings and then put in foliage, because foliage will cut off sight lines. Like I'm thinking to myself, do I really need to do this detail right down here to make this corner window more of like a corner window? Or is it gonna mostly be covered up with other details and something that's just not gonna be seen? I really do like using the signs as details to block these off to make it look like little corner windows, just like in the uh, actual park. And then while these are ticket booths, over here, this is sort of like the gates where you give in your tickets and then walk into the park. So I will have to build some fences to look like, hey, these are closed gates and then of course open gates on these pathways. This is like security. So I'll probably just build a building with kind of an unknown name. This is like an ATM. This is potentially an info booth, it's not even marked. And then this is strollers and lockers. So I'll have to figure out how I want to do those buildings overall. They're pretty simple, pretty just rectangular flat roof buildings. So I'm going to continue building this stuff. And then I think we're going to work on some foliage just a little bit, kind of like we did out here, not the forever foliage, but just placeholders. And then uh, I think I'm going to move these buildings a little bit further into the semicircle to give this plaza a little bit more space. But I like what we're seeing.
These buildings are very bare bones. You can see I've left this interior area just open. This checkerboard pattern is going to be a sign for me to, hey, come back, detail it, maybe build a storefront, maybe put something on the interior and just put awnings. But the, the big thing is we're getting the building shapes done because that's gonna help me scale the rest of the park. You'll also see, hey, the back side of these buildings are just open rectangles. The biggest thing I can do later on is come back, put doorways, maybe build an outcropping, maybe put a propane tank or a delivery door. Something like that's gonna make this building pop a little bit more. Uh, before the end of this episode, I am gonna put on some top details on top of the roofs, like an AC unit or ventilation or a vent, uh, anything like that that can help. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna come in here and instead of making this like an ATM and an info booth, is just make this some covered seating areas for people to relax or you know, say they get to the entrance and they're waiting for their friends to show up, they can hang out here before going into the park. Something like that. These are gonna be planters. I'm trying to keep it as low profile as possible. These trees do cover up quite a bit, so you might see me delete something here or there and put it back. But the biggest thing is um, we're gonna do these little buildings. We're gonna put some stuff on the roof. And then we're also gonna try to detail out the pathing in here. That is very hard to do early on in the process because you get overlapping pathing and that creates a lot of issues for your characters or your guests to be leaving the park. You can see this guy's leaving the park, but he probably has no idea where he's going. It's because there's a lot of path. And when there's a lot of path, people get lost and it's not easy. So for now, we're gonna deal with what we got going on right here and then keep on working at it. So I changed the color of a few things, added some awnings, added some covered patio area. I think it's looking pretty solid. The pathing, <laughs> we'll find out how this works in the end. The, I think the only thing I've got going on is people coming straight through the middle and that should hopefully remediate any issues. So I gotta make this wall invisible. 
I make those so that the pathing doesn't get mixed up when I'm doing all the extra details. But I think I need to put some more plants in the planters, but I'll do that in a later episode when I finalize the trees. You can see that it looks kind of green and brown, but once you add a couple yellow flowers or purple flowers, it's going to really pop. And then, of course, the details here and there. You know, you've got fencing or more plants, anything like that. The trees that will line this will likely make it a little bit better as well. But overall, I think it looks really nice and clean. That's the biggest thing we want to do, especially in the rough drafts, is make it clean. We can do the crunch or add the details later on. Love the little flat top roof details, little vents, nothing too complex. If we really want to mess around, we can mess with the texture of the, the roof itself. But these are, in real life, just pretty flat roofs. Nothing much going on on top of these. So I like what we've got going on. I think the next episode, we will probably start detailing this first entrance main main road. They call it, I think it was like Americana land or something like that. I'll look into it and get more details in the future. Uh, it looks like all the people are getting lost and stuck in here, which is not great. But I think adding an exit on the other end of the park or doing something like that will actually mediate a lot of this. So if you guys have any comments, leave them in the uh, comment section down below. But for now, uh, just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Been really enjoying this Rebuilding Astro World series. I hope you guys are too. And I'll see you in the next video.